Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to get rid of a large amount of dust and specks and various things from an image. This picture started out like this and if we look in the water over here you can see there's a ton of fruit pulp and dust and just general water floaties or something uh, that we need to get rid of. To try and clone this out is hopeless. We could do something like Gaussian Blur uh, that would still leave white areas and there's probably a few other ways we could try but the way that I got to something looking like this is I'll show you. So I'll get rid of these two layers. First thing I do is duplicate the background with uh, Control J. Now I use the filter, noise, dust and scratches. Now the way this filter works is the radius determines how large of an area it's going to smooth out the threshold determines what a dust particle looks like. So if the threshold is at 255, basically nothing is going to happen. You're saying that one pixel here can be 250 levels, which is totally white to black, different from the next door neighbor pixel, and it still isn't dust or some scratch. If we put it on zero, that means one pixel beside the other pixel. If there's zero difference, it's still dust. So basically saying this whole image is dust. So for this case, I'm going to put it at pretty low and the radius is how much it spreads, smooths out the color or spreads it out. So if I put at radius 1, basically nothing happens. And I'm going to play with these settings until I get a nice smooth water. Because I'm going to restore these berries over here later, I can be pretty strong in my settings here. If you're just getting regular dust out of a slide or something, you have to be a lot more careful in your adjustment. But this water is all one color, so I'm going to be put it at radius 67. There, basically everything's disappeared. And threshold, I can probably put at zero. So the water looks good, and you can also determine which part of the image is in this here preview. If I go onto the image, you can see I have a little box there. When I click on the image, then that box part goes into this preview. And if you click on this preview and hold down, you can move it and you can also see what it looked like originally and when you let go it gets to the filtered version. So I'll press OK. Now we have a horribly smoothed out berry area and good looking water area. So I have to create a layer mask and check out a tutorial on those if you don't know how to use a layer mask. And so I'm going to paint black and I'm going to zoom in to 100% and then go over all my fruit painting it back into the image. It's a little bit time intensive, but it's basically the only way to isolate, bring back the details. So I'll continue with that. Okay, so I've isolated all my berries here. You can see my layer mask. I'll hide it and brush around all these bubbles and around all the fruit and brought back the detail. I have this berry over here and I also wanted to delete that so there I'll just clone it out and use the patch tool and that's it there's the before zoom in and the after you can see all these are preserved check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com